Good morning, guys. Hey, still sticking with these same pages. We're actually going to take the knowledge we found out about line graphs on Monday and bar graphs on Tuesday, and we're going to kind of bring it together uh, because both graphs give a lot of good information. We're going to review them, and then our exercise or our assignment today is, is actually on both line graphs and bar graphs. Um, but as you can tell, they give information in a couple different ways. And yes, one uses lines and one uses bars, but um, what line graphs are mostly used for is data on like sales or, or, or numbers for different things. What bar graphs do is they do a really good job of comparing and contrasting because a lot of times, now we'll, we'll learn a little bit differently tomorrow, but a lot of times line graphs only have one line. And bar graphs will have like five different things compared. Like, hey, what kind of pet do you own? And what kind of pet do you own? Or what's your favorite color? What's your favorite color? What's your favorite color? So on and so forth. So that's how they're a little bit different. But before we get too far, remember, this is a line graph. Here again, produce and sales. Boom, boom, boom. It's really good about telling the difference between yesterday and tomorrow. Or in this case, this month and last month and the next month so on and so forth or if you want to see how you're doing each week on your push-ups right i got five only yesterday ah i can oh i can double it to ten so on and so forth and it really helps you know which day you do better and things like that uh, or if you want to do muffin soul say all right if i want to do this what day should i really be out there selling muffins if you think monday and wednesday uh the data right the information showing you not the best day, but Saturday, Sunday, hey, there I can make some good cash on muffins. But uh, bar graph here is different. Still gets a lot of good data, gets a, got a lot of good information. And what I like about both line graphs and bar graphs is that the titles, the y-axis, and the x-axis tell you a lot about what is this graph about, right? The line graph, bar graph, you both need that information. But again, you can see here right off the bat, what's the most popular fruit? Blueberry, right? What's the least popular fruit? Grape. Here again, what's the student's favorite color? You can tell without even hardly knowing the number. Yellow is the biggest bar. That's the most popular. Uh, this class different. This class is blue, right? Uh, what kind of pet do you own? In this case, it's obviously that 11 people own cats. That's the most popular as far as these people go that were uh, questioned for this bar graph. At any rate, this is your assignment. Notice you have a line graph on the left and a bar graph on the right. Look at the titles to understand the differences. Look at the y-axis and the x-axis. Look at the y-axis and the x-axis here. And this is a good example here. Because this is showing you the population growth of California from 1850 to 1995. This is a good job of comparing the cities in California just in the year 1994. So, you're going to be asked five different questions. And you're going to need to decipher if I look at the line graph or the bar graph based on what the question is asking. Okay? Good luck. I think you're going to do well. Tomorrow's assignment is similar, but uh, hey, only five questions. Don't rush. Don't rush. Use the graphs. A lot of good information to help you out there. Hey, Lord, blessings to you.